Here's how giving up dating caused me to manifest my husband. It was my birthday weekend and I was heading down to Miami to celebrate my birthday with some friends and family and also with the guy that I was talking to at the time. And to make the long story short, he ended up ghosting me that weekend and I felt embarrassed. I was sad and even more than embarrassed, I just felt really, really bad because it seemed like this thing just kept happening over and over again where as soon as I got really into a guy, they would kind of ghost me, but I was tired of that happening in my life over and over again. Once I got back home, I said, you know what? I'm gonna give this all to God. So I got in the shower that night and symbolically I told God that I was washing away my desires and I was ready to take on his desires because obviously I was doing something wrong. So I did that, I began to say my affirmations, I prayed, I washed it all off symbolically. Once I got out the shower, I got into my bed and I began to journalize what I felt God was telling me that I needed and some desires that I needed to change and I was inspired to create this list. And I actually have an entire video on this. If you want more, you can comment below and I'll share that video with you. But I literally got into my bed and I was inspired to write a list of everything that I hated in my past relationships. I began to write those things out. And then I decided to take another piece of paper because if I knew what I hated, I knew what I wanted. So let's say it was like I hated a guy that was mean to me then I wrote then I really wanted a guy who was nice to me so I wrote the exact opposite in the positive form of what I really wanted I closed my journal the next day I went to the store and I got a love letter a card uh, for my to write to my future spouse and I said you know what I'm gonna write in this love letter what I appreciate about him and how he treats me because that was a really big thing for me I was you know not being treated the way that I felt like I deserve, really wanted to manifest someone who treated me really, really special and loved me with their entire heart. So I wrote down things like, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you for being committed to me. Thank you for being there for me. And I just wrote this love letter to my future husband. I then put it in away in my desk and I let it go. I literally let it go. And I said, God, I'm gonna let you go to work. So I didn't try to contact any guys. I said, hey, even if I already know the person, then they'll circle back to me. In a little less than two months, uh, I was heading to NYC. Before I got on the plane, I had a dream about meeting this guy in New York and that he ended up be being my husband. And so I told my mom about the dream while we were on the airplane and she said, well, keep that in your heart, journalize it, because you never know, that actually may happen. So again, when we got to New York, I didn't like go see you know trying to see if who was my husband I wasn't looking at every guy in New York like are you my husband are you my husband I just let it be okay I just let it go and so while I was there uh, that evening I ended up speaking at a traders event that night I went out to dinner with this group and that is where I ended up meeting Kelvin who is now my husband and there's so much more to the story that I'll be sharing with you guys but I just wanted to share that first part about letting go of the whole dating and letting go of trying to manifest you know my way because obviously it wasn't working maybe if you feel like this whole dating thing isn't working for you maybe you need to do the same thing ask God to give you his desires and ask God to help you in this area so that way you can truly manifest the best person that he has for you.